Hey there, this is Lee from One Month, and I'm going to show you today how to add an image to your Rails project. Oftentimes, students ask me, How can I add a logo or a background? and I'm going to show you what you need to use. So, we have Pinteresting up and running here. I have my local server, I have Sublime open with the Pinteresting folder loaded, and I have just Finder here to show you where we need to put the image. So in my Pinteresting folder, there's the app folder, all Rails apps have that. There's the assets folder and the images folder inside of that. That's where we need to put our image. So I have this logo here, it's the one month logo, and I just copied that file name because I'm gonna need to reference that. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna put that in the header. So I need to go to my header and open that up. And I'm going to change Pinteresting here to actually be an image instead of just text. And to do that, you use a Rails tag called image tag. An image tag looks just like that. And I put my file name inside of the parent. So when I save this and I reload my server, Pinteresting is now going to be replaced with the one month logo. This logo is a little bit big, it doesn't really fit, but it, it's the proof of concept right there. You see that now our header has a link that is actually an image that we just set up. So that's perfect. And you know, to further this example, I'm just going to put that back to Pinteresting. So I'm just going to we're back at Pinteresting and we could put that image you know actually in the home page we could put that right here with just some an ERB tag and now we just do an image underscore tag parens now I just need to close that and when I save that now it should show up here let's see what I did wrong Ah. I'm signed in. So that was just the mistake because I put it in the else block. So let's put it here. Boom. So now you can see that the image is loaded in. And if I log out, you won't see the image anymore. So that's one way that you can add an image. And now you need to use the image tag because in development your server is going to serve the image just as is. But in production the Rails application does some caching so it needs to use this. If you learned HTML you've learned about the image tag with source and you know you do this. This isn't going to work because you're not going to know exactly where the image is because in production it's in one place and in development it's actually in another. That's because of the way that the Rails development server works and the Rails production server works. If you're interested more in that, you can look about Rails fingerprinting, it's called. And that's a way that Rails does caching to make applications faster. So I'm just going to remove that because that's not important save my file now when you're logged in you'll get the logo and as we saw earlier you could put the image tag anywhere in your embedded Ruby and that will generate the image as long as you have the right uh, name of the image you know if I if I typed it with the lowercase o that's not the image name the image actually has a capital O so that's an important thing to remember so I hope this helps give a brief overview of the image tag, how to load that. Sometimes you'll make mistakes as I did, so it's all right, trial and error. And that's how you use the Rails image tag.